No, but the tears bonus does. All right, we're gonna be high for a bit on this run. If you get, I'm getting motion sick. Oh, about to pass out. Holy sh! <laughs> oh my god, I've never been motion sick before. Welcome back, everyone, to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today we have a brand new character for you all. We have Tarnished Eden. So. Much like the other versions of these, like, seaside characters here, Tarnished Eden takes the idea of Tainted Eden and, like, puts that to the freaking extreme, man. So instead of just re-rolling all of your items upon being hit, this character takes that idea further. Instead of just that, you roll all of your items and all of your stats upon entering a new room. It sounds crazy, it sounds like it wouldn't be that much fun, but trust me here, there is a lot of agency to be had in your plays. One of the big differences here being, unlike, you know, the D4 and Tainted Eden, um, the item you roll into is not based off the pool you got it from. It is actually based off the item's quality. For example, if I get Sacred Heart, it's not gonna roll back into, like, Breath of Life or some crazy thing like that. It's going to become, you know, Cricket's Head. Magic Mushroom, other quality 4 items from a different pool, which makes it, I think, a little bit more, honestly, less crazy than Tainted Eden, because you have more agency of the power of your run. Not the pool, but the power more so, I guess. But anyways, your question for today is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below, who has been your favorite Tarnished character of this mod and this channel so far and why? A couple more things to explain off the bat though. First, C by the way is going to be 9QV7 GSF8. So, the other thing. You have a pocket item right down there called Debug. And Debug, when used, will take away two charges and roll your build for that room. Now, when it's at a full charge, however, and you pick up a new item, let's say you're picking up like Book of Virtues from the library, right? When that item is above your head and you pop debug, that item will stay with you forever. Think of it like uh, Tainted Job's, um, what's it called? Like Tainted Job's, what's, it, what's that item called? Like the, 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 the feather thing. It's like that, where the item stays, it, it's permanent now. It will never get re-rolled again, even upon entering a brand new room or using items like the D4, as far as I am aware. So the kind of like thing you want to go for on this front is not really going for, you know, angel deals, devil deals, secret room pool. You want to be going just for higher quality items. And I, unironically, the shop pool has a lot of quality three and four items inside of it. So I might try to prioritize. Oh, we're screwed. Uh, going for the shop. That's a huge reroll for us. Keep him at bay with your tears. I gotta focus hard here. I hate this enemy. He's so tanky. I've hit you at least several times. You're confused? You don't mean it? You're just angry. Stop it. How will you not die? How many tears was that? Holy shit. Well, either way, um, this room should be pretty good for us. Now, I find it kind of strange, too, because I really enjoy Tainted Eden a lot. I think he was one of my favorite new characters in Repentance, just because the idea of being able to reroll like your build has always been fun to me, and having that happen upon getting hit, and you can control that with stuff like self damage, dull razor, anything like that, it's always been fun. To have a character who relies on you adjusting to a new build like every single room you walk into, it is really cool to me. Um, and the D8, I believe, as well, got a bunch of interesting buffs where. And it might be kind of changed with this. I don't know. I was watching a video by uh, none other than Slay XC2, the 100k man himself. And he mentioned that D8 like is, is a little bit better, I think. I might be wrong there, but uh, I noticed my stats being at a pretty good margin right now. But I think the goal here is just like Tainted Eden is... I'm so bad. That's another feature right there. If you get hit by an enemy, instead of rolling your build, it just spawns one of these motherfuckers who chase you down. Look very creepy. It's like a, a, a Binding of Isaac creepypasta thing. But we kind of want to be going just for, like, quantity. You still want to get some quality here and there, but the more items you have, the higher chance of one of those being good. And Spider Mod only being quality 1, it's not worth stealing from me right now. If that was, like, stopwatch quality 4, I would be over the free... Is there a bomb in here? Over the, the freaking moon? But right now... Oh, it's a spider. I never even realized that. This, this room is a spider. That's so cool. Um, quality one is not worth my time to fight the greed mini boss. Let's fight this and see what happens here. Get the dime. Please, 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 please. Let's go. Oh, Contagion's huge right now. But yeah, I gotta say, like, I've played the past four, uh, now five with this guy, Tarnished Characters, and I think my favorite, 
I don't know, because I find Kane to be really fun. I find uh, Isaac to be extremely broken. And I find Maggie to be, like, really fun and fast. I think out of all of those, my favorite... I mean, Kane has so much love put into it, though. Kane is probably one of the most complex and, and unique modded characters out there. Uh, but nothing beats a good tarnished Isaac, like, when, you know, every single boss fight kind of run. You pretty much get to choose whatever item you want as that character. It's very interesting. Starvation. Uh, it's a bone heart for us, which is very... Those are permanent bone hearts, by the way. And decent stats for right now. It's all gonna change to walk in here. And our stats are back to being very average. Why don't we just move on down? I don't know what happened to my stats in this room, but we have... Like, one of the worst builds I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. Where do we have two damage and five tier rate? What the hell is this? I mean, it's gonna get better. It kind of got better. I think D8 has put our tier rate at being an insanely high number permanently here, which might be the change that Slay had mentioned in his video. Again, like, the thing with looking at character previews and stuff is it kind of ruins the surprise for me. I like to figure things out on my own. Like, when someone in the comments is like, you didn't even use your, your pocket item to in the, the shop to get 300 coins. Like, I'm like, I don't care. Like, if that's a secret thing, I'll figure it out eventually. Don't, don't spoil the goddamn character for me. Happened a lot with when Andromeda came out. And it was, like, one of the first bigger characters in a long time uh, for Repentance. And every single person in the comments of my video was like, you didn't even use it in the shop to get free items. And it's, like, you know, the better items. And it's like, okay, I would have figured that out come more time. But thanks for the, the spoiler, I guess. that That's awesome. Like, it's, as, it is just a mod for a video game, but... I, I like to explore the new content either way, and it kind of ruins it by having people in the comments tell me every single secret. Ah, uh, quality two. I guarantee this question mark is going to be quality three. I think that's quality one. We're not going to talk about that. We have a Joker card on floor one. We also have a very interesting shop going on back here. We have a quality three item. Instantly grab that. And we also have bad options. If we can find the money on the floor just raw, I'll take that. But I don't really want to fight greed for a quality 2 reroll. We can maybe get some money in here if we're nice and lucky. Yo, that is like the perfect amount to just to buy bad options right now. I'm okay with that. Why don't you also, well, save your Joker card. You're going to get a guaranteed deal on this floor anyways. So save your card there. But so far, man, so good. This run's going phenomenally. We have two electric, uh, or sorry, two technology items right now. There goes my my voice from streaming all day today. But that's a pretty rare one. Oh no, we have three. We have the battery uh, baby as well for that. We have X-ray goggles. Not going to do much for us right here. Actually, it will, because if we don't go into our devil deal right now, we can walk back and get free access into our super secret room. And I do kind of want to go for angel deal instead. Spending HP as a uh, like, any kind of Eden character is usually not the best thing you want to be doing early game. So instead of that, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to walk back out. We're not going to roll our items. We're going to walk in here. Now the items roll. Kind of. We kept a lot of the same ones. We can start popping this puppy open. Uh, are there any more keys on the floor? I really want to take advantage of this. There's none in there. What about in the arcade? Can we get some keys? A whole new dimension has opened up for me. Give me a lot of money. That was zero money. What about this? Bombs are key. Health up. Bombs are key. I feel stompy. Um, we're gonna... Oh man, this is a hard play, because those can give us a ton of items for pretty cheap. We just need 10 cents. And we got that 10 cents. Now we can walk back here. At least play one of these. And get a familiar. Quality one. Alright, cool. We need, what's the fastest way to gain more money? I think that chest in there is going to be the play. You want to go for a key out of this. You get a key out of this, you can go back, play the eternal chest some more potentially. Look, two keys right there. Watch this. Three dimes. Okay, we got bombs back. Not a big deal. Three dimes. All right, might as well. Uh, what about what about some more keys, though? That's what I'm kind of interested in right now. Not really keys. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Keys. All right, we're going to do a little bit of a touch you, and we're going to blow both of these things up. We're going to get keys out of this watch. Ah, three blue pills. Health. 
Three health up pills. Okay, the devil deal looks infinitely more pleasing right now. Uh, what if we bomb just two of these machines, huh? Is that gonna be all three? It's not. That's gonna be all three, though. Well, our, our plan has kind of gone to shit. Give me a key. <laughs> I want a key now, please. Yeah, dude. Okay, hold on. Go back here. Go back here. You can't win them all, right? All right, we have, a, we have a lucky penny in here. Our devil deal is still open, so you know what? I will indulge myself in a quality three item. You can't turn that down, can ya? Uh, you can't turn that down. I think as well. You just move on down. Here we go. We can give up the D8 for a random item. And you know what, dude? I'm feeling zany today. Just do it. We get another quality one. Not the worst. What I am going to do, though, now is we're going to try... Is that a quality two? I want to go for a quality four shop item right now. Keeper's box is, a, is an active. I'm going to go for a lucky bomb. Another active, but it's a quality three active. We could just pop it on the... Uh, it's, you know what? It's not worth it. Keep keep yourself alive. That's all I got to worry about right now. But yeah, I did stream for like four hours today and my voice... So here's the thing, right? Is you might be asking yourself... Why the wind streak is so weird? Well, I'm recording this in the very uh, near present. I have a pretty big backlog of videos for Isaac usually. Uh, because his character came out without warning to me, I'm recording this the day of his release and putting it out the next day. So I'm recording this like mid streak. And the episodes coming out tomorrow and the day after tomorrow for you guys are episodes from before this one was recorded. So it's kind of confusing, I know. But I have a weird backlog being... Uh, made right now and this is kind of disobeying the backlog rule so the win streak's weird i recorded three isaac runs this morning and then streamed for three hours thinking to myself hey i don't gotta do like any other work today and then lo and behold hey bd1p uh the new tarnished guy is out play as him right now and i'm like ah oh, shit i gotta record more isaac today luckily for me it's a very fun character but i was kind of like jesus man not backstabber Finger. I think it's quality three, if I had to guess in my own head here. Uh, are we having a good run right now? That is not a good build. Nothing we've picked up so far has been worth using debug to save. We kept the dunce. We got a little brimstone, though, at least. Uh, I do want to find an item worth saving in either our devil or angel deal. I don't know if we're going to find that realistically anytime soon. We can find out in here, I guess. Yeah, sulfur is not what I was thinking about. That is a quality one. <sighs> it's nice to have an active item either way, I guess, but I'm not super happy about that. You just you just keep moving down, I think. Was there a key we could grab in here? There is a key. You just keep on moving down. Soul of Massima. Spawns an item from a random pool. <sighs> sure. Soul. Yeah, definitely not worth uh, <laughs> saving that, but it's fine to have right now. I mean, we do have a nice collection of, like, just strength in numbers right now, but that's not... I mean, it is what you want. Like, you want to have a lot of items for a higher chance of in the future... Oh, pop that. Uh, of seeing, like, future good things, but I don't know. I want to find us a random quality for item we can just hold on to for the rest of our days. That could happen in this room. You never know. We have the modded secret rooms turn on. Uh, it's not. Unless, no. Yeah, it's... Oh, man. I, I really want to be seeing some cool stuff. We did finally find our item room and a dime right there. Snazzy. And we get... Well, it was the D8 once again, but now it's just magic fingers. I mean, dude, like, we need to have an active item regardless to get maybe an R key rolled out of that, but... I guess it's all right. It's fine. Let's go do our boss fight. Maybe even pop our Joker card on this floor. Our build's looking... Um, we're shooting Evil Eye. We have terrible, terrible stats right now. But luckily for us, our familiars are often carrying. We get Quince a lot on this build, it looks like. We're getting a lot of Quince drops. But that's fine. No deal. You know what that means, gamers. Pop the Joker card. And... Okay. Save Maw of the Void. We got a permanent Maw of the Void now. Great. Little Abbot, these are both quality three. It's going to increase your build exponentially there. Uh, let's go down and walk into our first room and see what's going on. I think we're going to be having a much better run. Now we have homing there. We got Ludo. I mean, wait, why did Maw of the Void go away? 
Though no, it's, it's there. It's in the bottom now. Uh, we should be having a much more enjoyable run. Shattered Soul. Ooh. I mean, I don't really want to fuck around with Broken Hearts right now. But I also kind of do want to fuck around with Broken Hearts. So we'll take that, I guess. We'll take that. I don't mind. But now we have a permanent Mob the Void for consistent damage, at least. Uh, we get, for quality 3, we're rolling pretty low. We're getting Quince. We're getting Car Battery, it looks like. And then maybe... I don't know if Meat or Botfly is our final quality 3 we have. It's one of those two. I'm guessing it's Botfly. I really can't see Meat being anything above a quality 2 for how low that damage buff is. But so far, dude, we're making some good progress today. A Dice Shard as well? Sign me the hell up for that. Is there a door we can... We need more... Sp well, I guess we have fine... We, had, we needed speed a minute ago. We were at like 0.7 speed earlier. But I guess our speed... No, now it's back to 0.8. Consistent speed, please. Okay. Quality. We're getting only quality 2 on this run, it feels like. Nothing else. We do have a couple of quality 3, but still not going my favorite. But I guess I haven't really answered today's question of the day yet. And I would say... I think it is Kane. I, I think Tarnished Kane has been my favorite one so far. This is not that bad. I like this a lot because it, it keeps me on my toes for the entirety of the run. But there was so much devotion and time put into Kane that it would feel wrong to not say he's my favorite. Even though I've only played, I think, like three runs as him, he just has a very cool mechanic and can get really overpowered really, really fast. What's over here? Not the boss fight yet. We're getting close to the boss fight, though. Hold your horses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get a key over here. We have a pretty good chance of getting a deal on this floor and going 4 for 4 on deals right now, besides that one Joker card we used, but that's still kind of 4 for 4 in my mind. We can pop this down. Our active item also only rolls... Oh my god, that drop right there. Jesus. I think when it's at a full charge. No, I'm lying. It rolls whenever it feels like it. Quality 2 sponge, by the way. Another quality 2. Alright, great. That's fine. I can live with that. I still really want to see a better thing. That's okay, too. Do I care about this golden penny? We have steam sale on one floor left. I don't care about that golden penny. Like, whatsoever. Send me to freaking church. There's our boss fight. Thank god. Get your, get your little uh, thing charged up. Do it again. You got a full debug ready in case you want to save a devil deal item here. And go in. Fly for more orbital damage. We are crushing. When we hit an enemy, dude, we're dealing consistent damage. We do get a deal, by the way. Permanent brimstone now. You'll love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. I think you keep going. You got permanent brimstone and maw of the void. You can't complain. Item room gives us a mimic pedestal for a quality two. I'm going to take it. We're getting a lot of quality two here, but I'd rather save the dice shard for like a quality one in a good pool, maybe. Although I guess, again, the pool does not really matter. We should, just, we should use the dice shard on a quality one item or multiple items, that is. That makes the shop pretty worth it. That makes the shop right here, as I say that. Very worth it. Can I save Hemolacria, please? I really want to keep Hemolacria Brimstone. What a, what a fun vanilla synergy that is. Hit his ass. There we go. Shop, come on. Okay. Honestly, I'm doing it. I'll buy quality one. You know what, dude? I, I can't complain. Now, Stargazer's hat is interesting. Because that item costs soul hearts to charge. If we were playing as any other character besides like that and Tainted Eden... I might have considered going for Stargazer's hat for planetarium items, but... Ooh. Hello, two quality three items. Thank you very much. But as this character, again, it's not going to be super good for us. An eight damage soy brim? That's crazy. Anyways, <laughs> continuing on. All right. It's boss fight time. Let's go fight the boss and probably just destroy mother instantly. No, we have, we're not that strong. We can potentially do boss rush on this run and go to beast. We have, oh, we have vanishing twin. That's scary. It doesn't work on this fight though. Thank God. Um, do I want to do boss rush? We have a full card. So you might as well go in, touch an item and walk out and maybe hope it's quality four, right? Okay. Grab negative. Um, go into here and you have cricket's head. Uh, this is just Job's rag, right? Pyrus rag. No, yeah, we're taking this, saving it, and we're gonna... Uh, oh, there's a crawl space rip. 
And obviously, as with every run, don't forget this. We're going to be going to Beast, though. I want to go to Beast, and I want to crush Beast on our first run. As this character, Cricket's Head, Maw of the Void, Brimstone saved. We are going to literally just crush everything. Down we... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Down we go. All right, we have our shop for our final set of singular item, I guess. We have a health uphill, though, it looks like down here. Never going to turn that down. Uh, luckily for us, Sharp Plug is not that bad of an item quality-wise. We still have one more item room to see, then it's time for the beast fight. Do I think our odds are very good on this run? I would argue that, yes, our odds are actually quite good. I mean, when you have a permanent Brimstone's Cricket's Head, like, you are probably going to have a decent chance to win that run. And if we keep our debugs saved up, we can always roll our build until we find a semi-good one in that regard, which shouldn't take too long, to be completely honest with you. So I think there's a permanently 100% chance that we win this run, no questions asked. I mean, permanent Ludo Brim also sounds like pretty fun to a guy like me, so we're going to do that as well. Uh, a, don't forget your dice chart, that could be useful. It's time to go down. Let's go head onto our ascension path and go and fight Beast. I have to say as well, the fact we have a loss so hilarious. The fact that I haven't had a single crash as this character yet, when every single room it's rolling my build through modded items, I am thoroughly impressed. I my game crashes like every other run. From just starting up the run in the first place. So to have it be like this optimized is kind of crazy. I think every mod I have in my, my workshop right now has crashed my game randomly for no reason at least once. This character, so far, absolutely zero. Uh, does the wavy cap bonus go away? No, but the tears bonus does. Alright, we're going to be high for a bit on this run. If you get, I'm getting motion sick. Oh, fuck. If you get motion sick, don't watch the rest of this video. I have never been sick before, but now I'm getting like my... What the pass out? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I've never been motion sick before. Oh, fuck. I almost just passed out, dude. Oh my god. This is what it feels like? I can't even look at... Oh, okay. Well, now I feel really bad for making fun of, of TG when he used to get sick in the car driving to, to Chicago because I almost just about fucking passed out. Holy shit, that was so weird. I've never, like, it, it started in my foot. Like, there was a tingle in my foot. And then my legs went numb. And my head started to fall back. And my brain was like, not on camera, dude. Pull that shit back. Oh my god. Okay, the screen is becoming back to nor- I, Dude, I couldn't even focus on talking there. Like, my brain just, like, averted every power from, like, mindless talking straight to, like, staying alert. Like, it, that was a primal instinct right there. I was almost out for it. If you want to talk about good Isaac characters, this character is so immersive, it almost made me pass out in real life. And I've never, ever been motion sick. Ever before. I, I used to live on a fucking lake, and I could, I would, I would, like, on the boat every day, like, all that shit. I've never been, like, motion sick, or seasick, or car sick. That was the first moment of my head just being, like, a fight or flight response of staying alive during a goddamn indie video game that was disturbing i i'm honestly i'm a little sh like shaken right now i've never felt like that before like is that weird to say like i've, I've just, i feel like i'm like i've unlocked a new like sense <laughs> or like a new feeling i i feel just different and i i don't know how to explain it god i my eyes, uh, dude, I don't even know how to... If you've been motion sick before, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't been motion sick before, you will have no idea what I'm trying to describe right now. It's like, take the feeling of like, getting in trouble by like someone you respect, like that kind of like sinking feeling in your gut, 
but accompany that with like your both of your legs falling asleep at the same time and eat exhaustion. That was like the feelings I felt right there. All right, here we go. It's beast time. No more, no more like heat exhaustion strokes right now, please. Okay, we have a couple more options for a few extra items here. Empress card is going to be fantastic for the beast fight. We need to make sure that on beast we have a fully charged debug just in case. Um, quality three, actually just incredible. Just in case our build is really, really bad. Now, does our build re-roll walking back into our hostile dogma room? It did not. Okay, so we actually have a 42 damage build right now, and that's very, very good. Save the Empress card. Save it. We also somehow have Inner Child on this floor, which is kind of fitting. Walk back and forth fast. Yeah, you are going to crush this. This is his hardest phase, and like, or more, sorry, tankiest phase, and he's down for the count. Dogma, how fast now? Holy shit. Oh my god, you're stuck. Oh, here we go. That was dumb. Soul Heart, though. Free. What's hitting me? Get that back, please. Thank you. All right, it's beast time. Uh, pray for a starting good build. We're not going to see our items at all when we start the run, though. We got to be careful here. No, it's the same. Is it the same? I see Magic Mush, BFF. It looks to be the same. No, it's... It's not. How good is the build, though? It's still really good. It might be the same, actually. Because we're dealing four... That's a lot of damage. We can reroll a bunch during beats to see what kind of crazy run we can encounter here. But right now, I feel fine. Use your sharp key. Oh, that's a lot of fucking damage. That is a lot of damage there. They use your sharp key, but you're going to be, I think, winning your first Tarnished Eden run uh, with, I would argue, pretty much zero issue. Aside from, like, almost passing out. Pretty much zero, like, issue in the entire run. This is great. And um, I guess my final thoughts on this character in full right now. Um, really solid. It's not, I guess, as, like, intense or crazy as Maggie or Kane. But just an all-around very fun spin on the whole Eden mechanic. And definitely, like, one of the best characters I've played in, like, more of, like, our third wave of characters coming out recently. Really, really impressed by it. As always, the, the team has done a great job with this, and I hope to see more uh, in the soon future. We'll see, though. I don't know what the next plan is. I know they've been working on uh, Tarnished Forgotten, I believe, next, but I'm not sure. I've not talked to Kemi Cat in, in a minute. I should, I should DM him later and see what's going on with all that stuff. We're going to be on to our final horseman here. All right. Get all your keys out now. You're going to roll your build in a second anyways. Good stuff. Dumb. Dumb hit. No, it's it's the same build. We have, we have the tower card still. It could just be luck and, and like just, you know, randomness, I guess. But still. All right. Debug into high damage, low speed. We have... Looks like nothing super interesting. Do it again. Oh, that, that sharp plug does, didn't it? Maxed out damage again. We have the... Oh, Eve's Mascara. This build seems to be pretty good. How strong is it, though? Oh my god, that's strong. Do it again. Eh, we can do it. We can go one more. Oh no, it's back. <laughs> I'll, I'll pop it. For the fans, if I pass out on camera... All right, it's going to be hard to dodge this attack, actually. If I pass out on camera, dude, so be it. It's all for the freaking video. It's actually a lot better in the beast fight, because you're not looking at a lot of moving parts. There's very few things. Okay, phase three, or two, I mean, sorry. Oh, wow. It's a pretty good build. 
Okay, be careful. You might, you might die here. Hey, we, we won! Look at that, dude! Look at that! Uh, if you enjoyed the run and my commentary, like it, a comment goes a long way for a smaller channel like mine. In the meantime, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.